In this video, we're gonna talk about the best time of day to work out. Before we get into it, like, subscribe, and hit the bell to get notified every time we drop a new video. If you leave a comment, you are automatically qualified to win $50 Amazon gift card every Monday. I think that this just all goes back to arbitrary rules around dieting and weight loss, and for whatever reason, to have new flashy marketing programs tell women that Oh, the best time of the day to burn fat is like in the morning before, you know, the turkey ro roosted. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about, man? What do they do? Are you okay? <laughs> it's not a turkey. It's, it's, a, a, it's a rooster. It's a rooster roost. No, it crows. crows. The yeah. roosters crow. Like, it's a term for when I go to sleep. Yeah, but when they the, root, no, they're not roosting in the morning. She's thinking that was before the, the cock, cock Before crows. the cock crows. Before, the rooster crows. before yeah. the rooster crows. So they're telling you. So anyways, they're just making up these arbitrary rules that you think, oh my gosh, the reason why I'm not losing weight is because I'm not working out. I didn't work out from 5 to 6 a.m. Like, it was 5 to 6 a.m. That's the only time my body has optimal time to burn fat. And I've been working out from 7 to 8. So that's what I've been doing wrong the entire time. I guess I have to go back right. to working out to 5, 6 a.m. So I just wanna kind of save you the time. If like you're in a time crunch, you have to go. We're just gonna tell you right now that there is no best time to work out. It really depends. On it depends your on your schedule. And you, and how you feel as a person, right? So I know like in the past, whenever I would first wake up, I'd always try to be like, wake up immediately, head out like, you know, within 20 minutes after waking up to go to the gym and get my workout in. And I realized like I didn't feel the best doing that. I felt the best working out during the afternoon. So when my schedule permitted it, I would try to incorporate my workouts during the afternoon. But obviously, you know, as different seasons of our life change and we have different obligations and priorities, I could not work out in the afternoon anymore. So it's always gonna be a matter of like understanding where can you actually fit a workout in and how is that workout like actually making you feel? Yeah, so here's the thing. Everyone is incredibly stressed all the time and exercising is actually a stress on your body. So what you want to do is really find the, the best time of day for you to be able to go to the gym and not feel like you're under so much pressure, like almost like the gym is a burden for you to have to go work out, right? You wanna enjoy it. And so you really wanna kind of look at your day, say, okay, you know, I'm in meetings from this time to this time. I hate working out in the morning. I wanna work out at night before I go home and make dinner. Mm -hmm. That's totally fine, you can do that. <laughs> So sorry to interrupt your video. We just wanted to let you know our complete calorie cycling guides for Phallus just dropped. And if you haven't checked it out yet, make sure you click the link in the description below to grab your own copy. In these guides, it has everything you need to know about what calorie cycling is, why we calorie cycle, what the benefits are, and how to calculate and set up your very own calorie cycle yourself. We even give you check-in templates that way you can use the exact same metrics that we use with our clients to measure and track your progress. In addition to that, we also give you grocery lists, meal and snack templates, and even an at-home workout plan that you can start using right now. And we've also created custom calorie cycling templates where all you have to do is put in your current weight, what your goals are, and it will calculate the exact calories for you and tell you exactly what to eat. It totally takes the guesswork out of having the plan what and how much to eat. We've literally made it as easy as possible for you to get started. Make sure you click the link below to check it out yourself. I used to be someone too who thought, I need to wake up, first thing is like go to the gym, I hated it. And so I started going to the gym at the end of the work day and it kind of felt like this is like a cap to my day, my day is done, now I can go home and relax. Now that my schedule has changed, mm -hmm. I, like my best time right now in my life is to go to the gym around 10 o'clock in the morning. The nice part is though is that your schedule permits you right. to do that. And I, like, I fully realize that there are some people that are watching this that your schedule just wouldn't allow you to go to the gym at 10 a.m., which is when sure. I think most people do feel optimal, right? Yeah, like, I, I think though that the point is is that like I, there, there's no, I wasn't losing weight more efficiently when I went to the gym at night or when I went to the gym in the morning or if I go to the gym mid-morning. Mm -hmm. It's all the same. It just depends on how I, I feel best. So you have to look at your own schedule and your life and figure out when are you gonna feel best to go to the gym. And I think that the other thing that we need to like consider is 
are you actually showing up to your gym sessions for when you have them programmed? So one thing that I used to do is I didn't want to wake up early before work to go, right? I'd have to get up at like, you know, 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning to get my workout in before, like shower, get on the train, go to work. And I didn't really enjoy doing that. I did it for a while, it wasn't my favorite. So I would start telling myself, okay, not gonna wake up and go to the gym before work, I'm just going to go after work. The problem was by the time I was finished with work, by the time I was done commuting, getting home, I was tired, I was hungry, and I really didn't want to go to the gym. So that started me in a cycle of saying like, all right, I'm just gonna wake up tomorrow morning early and go to the gym. When the time tomorrow morning came, I'd be like, all right, no, I'm actually just gonna go tonight. And so what happens is we start to put ourselves in this cycle of like constantly kicking the can further and further down the road. So that's another thing that I would say to you is you might have to make some sacrifices one way or another. And for me during that period of my life, I realized I'm way less likely to go to the gym at night after a full work day. So I had to make myself dedicated to waking up and going early. And that's not to say that you have to go to the gym early five days a week. I made it a priority for myself. I said, I'm gonna go to the gym early three days a week and the other two days a week, I will commit to going at night. So again, you can kind of stagger yeah, things. Yeah, that's the thing is I, I feel like people kind of think, okay, if I go to the gym, I'm gonna go to the gym. It has to be the same time every day. My day changes, like yeah. my day looks different every day of the week, including weekends. So when I go to the gym, it varies. I try to stick to that, that time frame that when right. I feel best to go to the gym, but there are days when I have to go before my meeting start, or there are days when I can't because I have too much work to do before meeting start, I have to go in the afternoon. But what I do is I put that that time block on my calendar and I treat it as a work meeting. It's just as important as anything else in my life and I make sure I show up for it. And that's again, just like, you know, understanding that you need to make it a priority, but also understanding that, you know, just because you can't do everything doesn't mean that you shouldn't do anything at all. So there are some days, right, when our workouts will usually take you know a good hour to an hour and 15 minutes to get through like a full set of workouts the level of intensity and effort that we should be dedicating some days we just don't have that time in our schedule but instead of saying oh gosh i don't have you know a whole hour and a half to like go to the gym i only have 45 minutes so i need to modify my workout and just get in and get it done yeah. so if you find yourself in that position and maybe going in the morning really isn't something that you can do and going in the evening isn't something that you know you'll show up to, maybe look at other opportunities. Like if you can do it you know, during your lunch break and get in and if you only get 30 minutes in, that's better than doing absolutely nothing. Well, I hope this was helpful for you and maybe you can start to put some new structure to your routine. We're curious, like when do you love to work out? For us, it is always changing I feel, so we love to hear from you guys. What is your favorite time to work out?